Uh, we are going to have to use our Stuka on that and cause hopefully a lot of damage. It's really going to come down to... Ooh, okay, let's do that again. That actually is very worth doing. So we'll get another Stuka to come in. A very, uh, very battle of Francie right there. All right, howdy folks. Welcome to Total Tank Generals. I'd like to thank the developers of the game for not only sponsoring this video, but also for providing me with a copy of the game to take an early look at for today's video. If you like what you see today, I would highly recommend actually to check the link at the top of the video description to check out the game's Steam Store page as it helps the channel a lot. And from what I can see so far from the game, it actually has a lot of potential. So without further ado, let's get into the first battle of Rommel's campaign, which takes place during the Battle of Ara in 1940. May 1940. Despite lacking experience in commanding tank units, Erwin Rommel was appointed as the commander of the 7th Panzer Division, with which he has managed to force his way through the Ardennes, a region thought to be impossible to traverse with armored units. This allowed him to circumvent the Maginot Line and continue his push to the west, eventually reaching the town of Arras. It was in this place the Allies would commence their fiercest attack on the Germans yet. If the British can successfully join forces with the French, the German army will find themselves trapped. Your task is not to let that happen at any cost. All right, so we have nine turns remaining for a brilliant victory. We have 12 turns for a major victory, and we have 16 turns, which is I think all the turns we have for a minor victory. Now, as you could see early on in the menu, there are three campaigns, a Soviet, an allied, and a German one. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at that first German one, just because it's all we have access to in the demo. All right, so before we get into the actual battle, I think it might be important to go over a couple of the basic details behind the game's ideas. So every unit is divided into two categories, either hard or soft defense. Obviously hard in tanks or vehicles and soft for infantry or anti-aircraft guns, anti-tank guns. And this number is going to determine how much damage they actually take from an incoming attack. So the Panzer III has a five hard defense value. The infantry here has a six soft defense value. However, that is because it's currently entrenched. I think realistically it only has four determined by the fact it says base four. So for the Panzer III, it can do 16 soft or 22 hard attack. It has a range of two at most. It has a 75% base accuracy. And as you can see here, the movement type is that of a tank. It is currently level one with zero experience gained. We have 10 health, eight morale points, and six ammo points. It has full action points, so we can still set it to Overwatch, which basically will engage any enemy unit that comes within its field of vision and range in the next turn. We cannot resupply it right now because it's not been damaged, it has not used any ammo. And the most interesting here is the Assault button. If you are right next to an enemy unit on the map, say there are enemy units here, you can use any units that still have action points available for an all-out assault on a neighboring hex, which has the chance to just full on flush those guys out of their hex and either make them surrender or just make them retreat off the hex. Now, this is going to be, I think, pretty self-explanatory. The biggest thing that you have to keep track of are the fact that hexes can have different terrain, whether, for example, a road on a plain or marshland or swamp or trees, or as you can see here and as well over there, we have entrenched infantry or entrenched vehicles. And you can hover over the hex name over here to sort of see what happens. So in the city, the attacker's accuracy is lowered. Now, this train also blocks line of sight, which means a unit here cannot directly engage a unit over here unless it is an artillery unit. 
Now, before we get into more battle, I do need to mention the deployment. So we have one deployment zone here and we have 1200 prestige. We can actually buy new units and use them in this battle. And the more units we capture or the more victory points we capture, the more prestige we'll gain. So we can actually buy a couple more units down the line. First of all, let's buy the infantry Geschütz, deploy that here. We're also going to get a recon up north because currently we actually already have a recon down south. Actually, we're not gonna buy that right now because we first wanna move the Panzer III into the airfield, upgrade its defenses by one. Now we'll get the recon. The interesting part about the recon is that any unit in Overwatch, which is again the ability to engage incoming units outside of basically your turn, this is going to block any and all Overwatch from actually being used. So if we move them in here, all the Overwatch here, as you can see, has just been disabled. This is the recon's job. If you do not use recon, your units are going to be taking a lot of unnecessary fire outside of the enemy turn. So we're also gonna get a pack gun and probably move that up kind of pretty aggressively because we wanna make sure we deal with the enemy vehicles. Now we have captured the airfield. Currently we can deploy recon or air defenses. We also have Stuka, which is good against single hard armor units, so vehicles. We have a strategic bomber, which in this case I think is an HE-111, which targets an entire square, and it's a little bit better against soft targets than it is against hard targets. And we can also deploy paratroopers, but I feel like if I deploy paratroopers right now, they're probably going to get singled out and surrounded rather quickly. Now let's move up some of my infantry, and then we'll be right back with you. All right, so we've moved most of our units out of the areas they were initially set into. I've also used a lot of my points. I only have 180 prestige left. We're going to be saving that up for a little bit. Actually, I think it's a good idea to artillery this enemy position, which actually took away their fortification and did six damage. We're going to use our mortars, which now hopefully we'll actually be able to do more damage considering their fortifications just went away, actually doing a lot of damage to these guys taking a total of like 11 points worth of health or actually 12 points worth of health away from them that we're going to go ahead and do next turn which should automatically give overwatch as you can see to a lot of my units that still had some action points left we have an enemy scout coming in though he just got missed twice and it took my pack gun to actually do damage to him okay we have infantry coming in north and an enemy tank unit who is oh, immediately going after my recon. As you can see, that recon is very important to keep alive. Enemy mortar, eh, did a little bit of damage to my pack gun. Now we could, hmm, we cannot resupply him right now because currently there is an enemy recon unit right next to us. I'm thinking we could maybe artillery this spot, which will take the overwatch away from it which should be good. We didn't do any damage. Well, actually, we only damaged one of those three units. That kind of is a bit, little bit unfortunate. Let's try to mortar this area again, and we'll do it one more time. Oh, actually, one of them retreated. That's good. Okay, why don't we massively move everyone in here with our infantry, and we are going to select all of them. Now, we could opt to do an assault. But what I'm thinking is if we do one instead, so we're actually going to just grab two of these, and then instead of doing a full assault, we're only gonna do an assault with two. 80% chance, I think it's pretty good. And this is hoping this works out for us. Oh, come on, yes, okay, we got that area secure, and now we can actually assault the other sector right next to it with another 80% chance. We actually didn't suffer a single loss. Oh, those guys definitely did captured a new area we got a whole bunch of extra money so that was actually i think a pretty good assault although i'm a little worried right now about this recon car it says it's encircled so that should give us a little bit of a bonus here our flak is going to engage that and i guess we should have our okay this should mostly knock out oh nice we captured it got another 80 money that's actually really good we might want to use the pack gun first. It'll deal quite a bit of damage to me as well, though. So this is kind of like a bad decision to make. But we want to knock this Matilda out. Okay, minus 7 to 4 is good. Now we can most likely knock him out. 
Ah, oh, you missed. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a chance. Panzer one, nice, awesome. He actually missed on us. That's great. So we now want to actually resupply our car because it has six health. Now it should have 10 because it cannot have more than 10. However, when you click the resupply button, your units can no longer move. All right, now let's actually take a look and see if we can move up a little bit and then we'll come back with you when we're a little bit further on in the battle. All right, so we moved up a little bit on the map. I actually ended up losing one of my flat guns due to a surprise enemy infantry attack. However, we are now going to use our strategic bombing on this area. It is going to be a sort of medium interest area because it has that circle around it. But we want to get to this area as soon as possible without actually sort of sacrificing my armor against this AT gun. So we just luckily got some pretty good bombs off and uh, we're going to either force them to heal or they're just going to have to stick with that. We'll bomb them again and then they'll have a lot less health. So this should actually help us get a little closer to this area and hopefully not have us lose a lot of our tanks or health on our tanks as we approach that position. All right, we're gonna just go ahead and bomb this area again. It's easy to do. We have a lot of bombing and plain points and we wanna get rid of this AT gun as soon as possible. That's very unfortunate actually that that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Let's move up our mortar and I guess we're gonna have to just use our infantry to shoots from all the way back here. Ooh, nice, minus four. That's very welcome actually. Let's see, we can get rid of some of the health on this other AT gun. Minus two, that's not bad. Mm, let's try. Oh, we both missed. So well, that's very unfortunate. Now we want to get rid of this AT gun down here. I'm a little worried about this guy, actually. Then my infantry all down here. We'll do another sort of mass assault if we can. We could actually get rid of some of these other units here, maybe. Okay, that's gonna knock out those infantry. That's good because I want to use my infantry to deal with their AT gun. The AT gun is obviously the thing that is scariest to my armor. Let's get rid of these infantry or at least get rid of their overwatch, which is good. So we can try to get some more shots in. We'll move this infantry unit forward to try and make this AT. Oh, the infantry retreat. That's good. Now we cannot engage this AT gun. I don't want to do that. This is going to be a suicide mission if I do it with the tanks, but we can most likely use our infantry next turn to get rid of it. Now let's use our tanks to get rid of this unit. Oh no, come on. You're supposed to hit. Oh really, dude? Move our infantry up a little bit if we can. There's this mortar team back here. Okay, that's actually good. I'm wondering if we can move the pack gun up. I wonder, this should probably knock it out. Oh really, that was a, okay, they're retreating. That's all that matters. Let's knock them out with the uh, scout car, 2-2-2, two, 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 getting a kill. And I'm trying to be, I guess we'll move all my guys into this reinforced area here, which ups their defense a little bit, hopefully against the AT gun, which is also at three health. So we'll actually have a pretty decent chance here, I think. All right, I think my southern area really needs some support. So we're going to actually go ahead and call a Panzer three in because we currently don't have a whole lot of enemy or friendly armor units there. Uh, these Panzer ones are just a little bit so-so. If we get some more prestige though, I'll definitely get another recon to replace the one I lost down here. Oh no! Okay, that's an issue. That hurt. I think that might have been an, ooh, okay. That's bad. That was a good assault, a very good assault by the enemy there. Uh, we are gonna have to use our Stuka on that and cause hopefully a lot of damage it's really going to come down to oh okay let's do that again that actually is very worth doing so we we'll get another stuka to come in a very uh, very battle of francy right there good but we did lose an infantry and these guys are now really low so we're gonna have to heal these guys up Actually, before we progress, we're going to actually give our units some upgrades. We're going to get some close attack upgrades on some of my infantry here. Uh, we'll probably get some more defense for this Panzer. So we got a couple of upgrades which should help us a little bit, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, some of these are very situational, uh, but they should give us a little bit of an edge, hopefully, in further engagements towards the town. I'm wondering if we could at least maybe get rid of those guys. We can't actually pair drop. So why don't we pair drop right here and we get some paratroopers to come in. There they are. 
And then we're going to, I guess, heal these guys. We really should heal these guys, but I also want to get rid of the enemy in this town. Move our flak on up. Okay, you're kind of low on ammo, it says. We're going to just engage this with our infantry geschutz. Do some decent damage. Move up our mortar. Move up our geschutz. And then let's get rid of, hopefully, a lot of the guys on this area. Okay, that's good. We'll maybe actually instead heal these guys. And we'll... Can we use it? Yes, that super work doing an assault. 100% There's no no reason not to. So there we go. One destroyed. They're retreating. We spotted... This, actually, I think it had the mortars in it. So we're actually doing really good. All right. I don't know how we're going to do this. We want to get eyes on the town here. Maybe we'll use my recon to spot and hopefully... Yes, cancel their overwatch. Now, we can target this tank, but it's inside of a town, so it's almost going to do no damage, I think. It's at maybe one or two points of damage, and most of my units are just too far away to really get to it this turn. We could maybe move... I don't know. See, we can't really get close enough to do what I wanted to do here. We can maybe harass it with... Oh, okay, we got rid of their protection. That's good. We could still maybe do this, but we have to get really lucky here. Okay, we got rid of a... F oh, wait, we can. I think we actually can maybe do this. I could probably push to the city here and engage it with everything I have. And we might still be able to just get rid of that one infantry unit in there. If we hit him enough. Oh, we done it. Nice! That was the final turn as well. So we had, we that was the last turn or chance we had for a brilliant victory. Having secured the brilliant victory uh, just there in the nip of time, sort of, I guess, historically accurate. Anyway, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this early look at Total Tank Generals. Again, a huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the game for yourself, the link at the top of the description brings you straight to their Steam store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love to see you in the next one.